Virgo, what's up, baby? It's your girl. I'm back with your reading, honey. All right, Virgo. So, you know, my readings is just considered as a heads up, okay? This might resonate with you and it might not. If it don't, check your other signs, okay? This is something that's going on in your life right now or something that is about to happen in your life, Virgo, okay? So, you know, I've already laid out your spread. Your middle card is what life wants you to know right now. And then this card right here is what your overall energy is about, okay? And I'm going to confirm everything with the Tarot Illuminati, okay? So, Virgo, let's see what's going on. And make sure y'all hit that like button before y'all get up out of here, okay? So, Virgo, let me tell you, don't get offended. But what life wants you to know right now is this middle card right here, okay? And this deck that I got, it give it to you raw, okay? So, don't get offended because y'all know I love y'all. I just got to give the message. I got to deliver this message, okay? So... We're going to jump in. And what life wants you to know is... Virgo. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Facts. Clean yourself up. Okay? Now listen. What's going on? Because see, I feel like that you're in a situation where you feel like that you can't see a way forward. And that your hands is tied behind your back. Okay? It's just like that you're in some type of situation and you just can't see a way forward. Okay? And you're probably like all down on yourself about something. Okay, just know that life will get better. Alright. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to figure this thing out. So, Virgo, I see that you feel like that you want to move forward, okay? You want to move forward. I think this is like you want to move forward in a relationship with somebody or something, okay? But it's like you can't see a way forward. So, you need to use your intuition, because you feeling like that everything is just over with, okay? It's feeling like you feeling like that everything is just over with, like ah, oh, like it didn't came to an end, it didn't came to an end, okay? Don't worry about it, cause you need to take a leap of faith, because honey, you got these new ideas in your head, okay? And the universe is like trying to hand you some good things, like things that you are passionate about. So you need to go for those, okay? Whatever it is, Virgo, the universe has your back. They're calling for you to, you know, be your authentic self, okay? And then happiness is going to come. Like, it's going to be equal give and take. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't shortchange yourself in whatever this situation is that you're going through, okay? So don't feel like that the world is coming to an end. I don't know what you're going through, but, honey, you're going to get through it. Because when we go through things, honey, we feel like that we can't see a way forward and that our hands is tied behind our back and there's nothing we can do about it. But you know what, Virgo? That ain't nothing but fear okay so just shake that fear don't worry about that don't let fear like stop you from doing what you're doing because you can do anything that you want to do okay but if you let fear take over then you're not going to be able to see a way forward and you're never going to move forward because you're too scared because of that fear okay so let's see what you got going on because y'all know i'm about to I'm about to give it to you okay so let's see why this chariot is here for virgo why this chariot here for virgo we're gonna see what's going on see what we can get to the bottom of okay i just want to help y'all out give you this message okay let's see oh okay virgo i see this is what you got baby so you feeling like that you can't see a way forward like you want to move forward when it comes to love like i said you need to use your intuition and just take a leap of faith about it okay you want to move forward when it comes to love because you want to like offer somebody some love or some or you know what i'm saying or somebody wants to offer you love but you looking at their stability and you like do they got more than i got okay you like do they got more than i got you can't look at it like that you can't look at it if they got more than what you got or you know what I'm saying? Are they going to be offended because you got more than what they got? Okay? Like, don't look at it like that. Because if somebody's coming in to offer you love, honey, then therefore, you know, it should be like an equal give and take, like I said. Okay? Because that's your last card. It should be equal give and take. You know? Shouldn't nobody worry about who got the most and all of that. Okay? So the thing is, is that you're looking at somebody and you feeling like, to a sense, it's like that you don't want to... You don't want to accept love or you don't want to, um, you don't want to accept love because I think that you're feeling like that it's going to be like a competition or that somebody is going to, you know, try to like, um, 
that, that it's not gonna work like you ain't gonna be able to move forward with this person because for the simple fact it's like that um you don't want them to feel like that you know because some people do like if, if a female has more than a man then it's intimidating you know what i'm saying so then therefore you're like nah i ain't about to do this because that person is gonna come in here you know like it's not gonna be real because they're gonna be intimidated by what i got okay am i gonna have to equal up to them or you know what i'm saying no because see money shouldn't even be the problem money or stability period like whatever you have like that shouldn't be the problem because if somebody's coming in make sure that they coming in for love okay so just use your intuition on that don't sit up here and like stress yourself out feeling like that you can't move forward whenever it comes to love okay because of a competition because whoever you get involved with just make sure that it's equal give and take okay virgo or whatever situation this is, this is that you're in. If it ain't love, if it if it ain't about love, if it's about something else. Mama. Yeah, my bad. My kid just ran in. But listen, don't worry about it because you ain't you don't have to compete with nobody. Either if they're gonna come in and accept you for who you are and what you have, you know what I'm saying? Then that's love. But if they come in here looking at what you got and being offended because you have more than them then that ain't who you're supposed to be with or who you're supposed to be around, period, okay? So whoever you um, move forward with, if you get into a relationship and they start acting all, you know, like looking at what you got and start acting like jealous in some type of way, cut that shit off fast, okay? So let's see. Let me see, honey. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, because ain't nobody got time for that. But that is a big thing, though, because, you know, if this is females that I'm talking to, this could go both ways. So it don't just have to be a female. It could be the male the male as well, okay? I mean, it could be the female as well, you know? Because sometimes people get jealous and get intimidated because somebody has more than what they have. But see, just look what I'm telling you. See, the cards don't lie, baby. The cards don't lie. Take a leap of faith if that's what you want to do okay but just use your intuition and let your intuition guide you and like i said if it don't work out walk away from that shit see what i'm saying i can't make this shit up because listen you got to make sure that it's fair on both parts no matter how good it looks if that person coming out acting any type of way and acting suspicious let they ass go okay because you want equal give and take like you need it to be fair okay because somebody shouldn't come in there worried about what you got okay so you should be able to start a relationship without feeling like that somebody um is going to be intimidated by what you have okay about your stability okay because you might have more than them or they may have more than you so what if it's love is love they wouldn't care about that but if they act in suspicious get them gone you can take this leap of faith don't be scared because we only have one life to live honey and live it don't worry about you know just that's why i'm saying you just got to keep your you just got to use your intuition when somebody come in there don't get by, don't get blinded by love okay don't get blinded by the love watch this person and see what type of person they are because if they giving off that jealous ass energy get their ass on up out of there period you know what i'm saying you want somebody to come in there where you you know you don't gotta feel like that um all oh, this person is jealous of what i have you know what i'm saying like no don't let that person come in there if if they acting like that get rid of them fast okay so don't get your feelings all involved too quick because honey i'm telling you it's gonna be somebody out here that you know look listen let's see why is this death card here yeah i know all about it the death card why is the death card here the virgo the death card this is what you got because see this is what you want to do you want to like um you want to let the, the way of thinking the way that you're thinking like you want to like you want to let that go so you can like have this new beginning okay but listen like i said you got the power to tame a beast you understand so if somebody's coming in there and you know this is your strength you just got to find your strength this is somebody having their strength to tame anything okay 
So long as you know you, and long as you got it all together, just, man, come on, man, bring that up out of you, okay? Bring that strength up out of you. And, you know, stop that way of thinking, the way that you're thinking, and just, you know, just be yourself, okay? If that's what you want, if you want this new beginning, you can have it. Don't feel like that life is over and that, you know, the relationship part is dead, okay? Just pay attention. Don't go in head first. Because if I'm talking to females, that's what we that's what we intend to do. We go in to a relationship with our heart first. Go in there and see, like, get into a relationship and figure out who you're dealing with first before you start throwing all your feelings into it, okay? Don't be scared of her. Go take a leap of faith, okay? Because, honey, listen, you want this new beginning. You want this new beginning. And it's there for you. The universe, God, source, spirit, whatever, is about, is, will give it to you. But you have to do the work. You got to do your part, which is taking the leap of faith, okay? Just go into it, being your authentic self, period. You don't have to act lesser than, you know, just because you have more than, okay? <laughs> or even if they have more than you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because the world is not built around money, honey. It's built off, it's supposed to be based off of love, okay? We're supposed to love. Not. This ain't no competition. You don't go into no relationship for a competition. You go into a relationship based off of love, okay? But be smart about it and use your intuition going in it, okay? Let's see why you got this food card in here. What's the food card here for Virgo? The food card for Virgo. Give me the food card for Virgo. What's the food card here for Virgo? What I tell you, come on, man. Use your intuition and take a leap of faith. Come on, baby. The cards don't lie. This ain't no play thing. Use your intuition. Don't go in there. Take that leap of faith. Do it, honey. But listen, use your intuition. Let your intuition guide you. Don't go in head first. Don't go in blinded like, oh, oh, I love this. But no, uh -uh. figure them out first. Let's see what they about first. And then, you know, just go into it slow. Because if you go into it with your all, then you're going to be hurt in the end. Okay? If they ain't about the right. Okay, so let's see. What has the Ace of Wands here? For Virgo. The Ace of Wands. Give me the Ace of Wands for Virgo. What's the Ace of Wands for Virgo? Ace of Wands. See, I told you because you want this new beginning, okay? You want this new beginning. You want to be happy. You want to start something. You want to be pat. You want this passion, okay? You want this, like, passion with somebody because you want to be happy you just want to be like child like again like that fresh start of a relationship okay and you don't want nobody to leave you out in the cold okay you don't want nobody to leave you out in the cold but listen can't nobody leave you out in the cold if you don't go into it thinking negative you know so let the negativity go and just take that leap of faith baby i'm telling you let the negativity go because see you probably beating yourself up that's why your car say you look like a shit show you're a hot mess facts clean yourself up clean yourself up because if that's what you want to do virgo do it jump out there and do it don't be scared do not be scared because the universe is going to have your back as long as you go into it and do your part which is using your intuition and figure somebody out before you just jump into it head first and put your feelings and your heart all into it okay let's see why's the judgment card right here why's the judgment card right here for virgo the judgment card. See, this is what you got. Like I said, be your authentic self. Okay? Be your authentic self. The universe has your back, okay? You can go in there and you can be loving and nurturing because that's what you want. But you're scared of the drastic change because it's going to be a drastic change, honey. But you got to accept change in order for you to be happy, okay? Just make sure that it's equal give and take. Make sure it's equal give and take. Don't just, you know, go in there and, you know, letting somebody, like, live off of you. You know what I'm saying and all that. Make sure it's equal give and take. You know? Let's see. Why is the Ten of Cups in? The Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Virgo? I told you. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Hmm. 
look, this is what you got. You want to be happy? Come on, man. You got to find somebody that is on your level. You got to find somebody that is grown up and that didn't come to play. You understand? This person didn't been through things. This person is grown up in the head. This person ain't coming in to play. You understand? This person is serious. This person has wisdom, knowledge, okay? And they ain't coming to play no games. Like I said, in order for you to be happy, come on, Virgo, the cards don't lie, baby. In order for you to be happy, make sure that that person is all about the right. Make sure that they're grown up. Make sure that they're old enough, okay? Make sure that they have that knowledge and that wisdom, okay? Don't just mess with anybody. And what did I tell you? The universe will have your back, okay? This is the universe. All you got to do is just be your authentic self and use your intuition. And look at here. And you're going to make it. Move forward, okay? Just do it. That's what you want to do. This, that's what you want to do. You want to move forward with somebody. You got the chariot twice. And you got the judgment card twice, which is letting you know that the universe has your back, but you got to do your part, which is use your intuition. Just don't go into it blinded, okay? And make sure that it is equal give and take. Period. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why is the six of pentacles here? Why is the six of pentacles here for Virgo? The six of pentacles. Why is the six of pentacles here for Virgo? <laughs> look Virgo look let me say listen you I told you see make sure that it's equal give and take you feel like that you ain't gonna be able to see a way forward that's the reason why you, you're sitting back probably like all stressed out and just beating yourself up don't do that don't sit back and beat yourself up because look at you you feeling like oh ain't no love out here you know what I'm saying like I'm not gonna get what I want you like man that shit is just all an illusion I'm not gonna never have it I'm never I'm never gonna have this love look the universe is trying to hand it to you it is right there Okay, the universe is, is trying to help you, but you have to go in the right way. As long as you go in the right way, you'll be perfectly fine. Okay? You feeling like that you ain't going to be able to see a way forward. You have to make sure that it's equal give and take. Okay? Make sure that it's equal give and take. You have to make sure that that person is grown up in the head. Don't get into it with no, like, little youngsters or nothing like that. Make sure that that person is about their business. Y'all can, y'all can, y'all can do this together. Okay? Or it's just going to be somebody that's coming in, even if you got more than them. Fuck it. Because look, look what's at the bottom of the deck, honey. You got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is, honey, this is overflowing love, okay? Your cup is overflowing, honey. And the universe is going to hand this to you. The only thing you got to do is you do your part. Do your part. And your part is going into it using your intuition. Don't go in head first with your heart, Okay? Don't go in there with your heart all open. Figure this person out first. Take some time. Take it slow. Okay? And then you'll be just fine. But don't feel like that life is over when it comes to relationships, honey. Because it's still love out there. Okay? And it's somebody that will be able to match you. That can be on the same level that you own. Okay? That's your reading, Virgo. Make sure you hit that like button. Okay? Hit that like button. Even subscribe if you ain't subscribed so you can get notified when my next videos come out. Thanks for stopping by my channel, Virgo, and have a blessed night.